guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of August reading for you all. August 1st through the 15th reading for Sagittarius. How are you all today? Hope everybody's doing great. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. Haven't used these cards in a while. I thought you guys may enjoy them. I love these cards. prayers are still going out to everybody that's going through nonsense right now. Seems like it's happening all over the world. Please stay safe, okay, you all? All right, let's see what we got. The cherry. Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, King of Swords, and the Tower. Clarifying, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and Nine of Cups. Door to Romance, and Patience. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Nobody likes to tell, be told to be, have, be patient. Forgiveness. And abundance. Nice. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. I have a feeling with this uh, Nine of Wands over here, with this Patience card, possibly forgiveness in the Tower, and moving away from something. Something's about to come in that you guys are going to, uh, I almost feel like something's about to change, but it could be you guys changing your mind about something. So when I get the Eight of Cups, it makes me feel like you guys are going to move away from something that's not good for you. You're going to walk away emotionally from it. And with that, it could also go hand in hand with this Nine of Wands, you guys feeling like you're being um, thrashed a little bit. Because sometimes, you know, you keep trying to move forward and something keeps pushing you back kind of situation and you're getting sick and tired of it. It could be related to your job, possibly your business maybe. So I'm feeling like this tower card is going to push you over the edge to turn your back on something and you're going to say, you know what, I just, I can't do that anymore. It's time for a change or um, you're going to change your mind completely about something specific. It could be dealing with a king of swords down here, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. So I'm feeling like that there could be something that's going on that with this change, you're going to say, I'm better off 
just going in this new direction kind of situation. So I think that's going to be like a blessing for you all. But I do think that it's going to take a minute for all of this to happen. And you might need to have a little patience because sometimes things... Um, Sometimes timing is everything, not sometimes, usually. Timing is everything. So when the timing is right, something's going to come in, and then you're going to realize what I'm talking about. I do have this forgiveness as well, so I'm thinking that there may be someone or something or a situation that you may need to forgive. It could be the person or the situation that you're walking away from here, but I do think that you're going to jump on this chariot and you're going to move forward and not even um, think twice about it. So that in itself is, is going to be a good feeling and a good situation for you all. And it could possibly lead you to romance, maybe, for some of you, door to romance. You could be dealing with someone that may be wanting um, to date you or that may be ha getting feelings for you or maybe you're getting feelings for someone else. And it could be this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I'm not quite sure if, if this is the same person or if these are two different people that maybe you're walking away from or you're moving towards. It could go both ways, honestly. Give me just a minute. You know, when I get this Nine of Cups, it makes me feel like you guys are going to be um, happy, emotionally happy with something that um, is going on in your life. Just like with the eight, you know, you decide to, to move away from something. The nine, you're moving towards something or you're feeling good about something. So this is also a wish coming true for you all, I think. So with that being said, here comes the Ace of Wands. And this, I believe, is just a new beginning in different ways. Uh, maybe this is a new job, a new home, a new um, business opportunity. Maybe this is you guys thinking of babies or thinking about marriage or thinking about, you know, different things to that extent. I just think that with this Ace of Wands that you guys are going to be thrilled with something that's coming in and you're moving towards it and you're not even blinking an eye. I mean, you're, you're thrilled with this this new beginning, whatever it may be. Now, I have the Seven of Pentacles, and when I get the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you guys are harvesting your fruit, you know? So when I get it, it's almost like your hard work's paid off. Um, maybe some of you guys are walking away from um, an old job or something like that, or maybe you're able to sell something from your work or something that you've done. Maybe you are um, getting some sort of reward or some sort of payment for something with this Seven of Pentacles. I feel like that this is a blessing that's coming in for a lot of you guys, and maybe you've been working at something for quite some time, and finally your hard work pays off. So I think that financially you guys are going to be getting some sort of um, financial help or financial gain or the bonus that you've been waiting for or selling something that's worth some money. Either way it goes, I feel like financially you guys are going to be set. And then there's the abundance right beside it as well. So honestly, I think that with this tower and this, it's a blessing coming in, and you guys are going to be thrilled with the outcome. I have this Nine of Cups here, too. This could be you guys getting together with family or friends, possibly. But overall, in general, you're pleased with the way things are working out for you. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. having mixed feelings about this King of Swords. Now, it could be your energy as well, you all, to where you guys are 
seeing everything. I mean, you're, um, it's truth and clarity, and you're using your mind, and you're making sure that you do everything the right way. It's intelligence. Um, so this could be your energy as well, but for some reason I'm feeling like this is an actual person for some of you. And it could be two different people. On one hand, I have the tower card and you moving away from something. So when this tower card comes in, it's almost like something is happening that you guys have been either putting off or something that is going to change your mind or something that is maybe like an epiphany. And you guys say, you know what, I ain't going to deal with that or I'm going to move away from that or I'm not putting up with that anymore. It's, it's a combination of all of that stuff. It could be because of an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, um, that could be getting you uh, to change your mind or to not put up with this person or this situation anymore. On the flip side, you could be dealing with this person that's helping you. It could be someone that may be romantic in your life. So it can go in different ways. Then I get the Seven of Pentacles that makes me feel like this. you're harvesting your fruit. So here comes uh, some sort of... Um, a blessing or some sort of a reward, some sort of a financial reward because you guys have been um, working hard for something specific. So maybe if you're selling a book, for instance, and, and they give you a chunk of money up front and then they give you another chunk later, maybe it's something to that extent, right? Maybe you get a bonus every three months or something like that and you're getting your bonus right now. There's something about this that makes me feel like you guys are going to be like, well, that's really nice. That was a, a nice uh, surprise or a nice um, little reward kind of situation. Now, with this nine of wands, sometimes you feel like challenges and obstacles and aggravation keeps pushing you back, you know, two steps forward, three steps back. And it almost gets on your nerves and it starts giving you a little bit of anxiety and aggravation. But hang in there for just a minute, you all. That's about to change, I really do feel. I think it's regarding your work or your job or your business, whatever it is. Um, maybe it's the people that you work with that's getting under your skin a little bit. I don't think that's going to be happening too much longer. I think you guys are going to pull out of it, maybe after you walk away from something here as well. But I do feel like that if you're looking for a job, it might be time to put in your resume. It might be time to start looking. You may be getting your degree or your license to do something specific with this Eight of Pentacles. But by the end of this reading, you guys are going to be pretty tickled. You're happy here. You're emotionally happy, like a wish is coming true for you all. There may need to, you may need to forgive someone or a situation or a person out there with this forgiveness and this patience. I feel like patience goes hand in hand with this. And I feel like that the forgiveness may go hand in hand with this as well and this. So if there's someone out there that's not doing you right, whether it's a relative, a family member, a friend, a co-worker, whatever it is that's not treating you right or not, um, I almost want to say they're not doing what they're supposed to do or feeling their obligations for some reason. Um, I just want you to realize that if you if you forgive them and you move forward, you're going to feel a lot better about the situation, okay? So there may need to be some forgiveness that possibly comes stems from this right here that you guys may need to um, forgive someone or forgive the situation and move forward. And honestly, that looks like that's what you're doing. This Ace of Wands is new beginnings in so many different ways. New jobs, new homes, babies, um, new beginnings in any way that you, you can think of. A new passionate beginning too. That's something that you're enjoying or something that you want to do. Something that makes you feel good about yourself and your life in general. And then if you do... Some of you, let me rephrase, some of you are going to be, romance is going to be knocking on your door. Now, whether you want to open it, <laughs> whether you want to open the door or not, it's left up to you. But someone may be interested in you, and I'm not sure if you're interested in them, but it may flip, and you may be interested in somebody, and they and they're not sure if they're interested in you. But honestly, I kind of feel like you guys are pushing someone back. Um, so you may have 
someone let you know in one way or another that they're interested in you so be cautious i'm not saying that you have to do anything about it i just want you to be aware um, you may be pleasantly surprised or a little um, shocked um, so i just want you to be aware of that but i do see you guys you guys have a path you've already mapped it out you already know which way you're going you jump on your chariot and you're moving forward at a fast pace you're not looking back you're going to forgive whoever or whatever situation has hurt you or or not or has done you wrong in one way or another and you're going to move forward to these new beginnings a wish comes true you all this is a really a good reading and then with the abundance up there too don't forget this is can be financially abundant but it can also be your welfare your happiness your security and your safety and your all-around good um, feel good about yourself and your family and your situation it's just a really good feeling that i have with this abundance card so i have a feeling that whatever it is that might um slow you down a minute is not going to be there very long you're going to jump back up and you're going to keep on going so i think it might be a blessing in disguise whatever it is new beginnings you all all right, Sagittarius, this is a great reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is your first half of August, August 1st through the 15th reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.